Ooh, starting just to look uh, a it's little empty. bit a little bit empty now, yeah. And uh, we've got quite a bit of stuff in the workshop, sort of getting ready to be serviced and getting ready to go out. So much stuff that is sold at the minute. So uh, let's go on with the video. Got some tips coming up. Um, and yeah, let's figure out what's been going on. You can't just rely off serial numbers anymore. Um, so serial numbers in the ovens, on the fridges, etc. You can double cross reference so is that you've got a good idea then that actually, yeah, uh, all the windows match up to so all the Chris identification numbers. This week, uh, we've had, we've just had the all powers two kilowatt power bank. And I think we've got a nice van that we're going to be showing you a little bit later on. Uh, that's coming in. It's actually coming in tomorrow. And what we're going to do is we're going to re-video some of this video tomorrow and add it onto this video so it all looks like it was one. Um, but in actual fact, the video when you see the caravan is going to be tomorrow. And um, one thing um, that might just be worth doing now, I'm hoping that this weather is starting to get a bit better. Hopefully the, the real bad frosts um, we've got rid of now. So it might be time it's up to you. It might be time to sort of start getting the water through the system uh, and just checking all of your taps. I think we've mentioned previously. It might be time as well if you can. And again, it's 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 not always easy, is it? Um, we're gonna we're gonna utilise that that power unit. Stay with me. Stay with me. Now, whether you have to take the van home, whether you keep it at home, whether you keep the caravan in storage, this is where this little power unit really comes in quite handy for us anyway. This is two kilowatts. But what I'm going to basically do is I want to try and plug the caravan in with this and test the fridge. Oh, there, there we go. go. So we have to hold it. Hold it for a fair while. Right, now what we're going to do is one thing that these will tell us is what amperage it's actually work using. So in theory, when I put the, I've put some lights on and bits and pieces, so that'll go up a bit hours more. With just the lights on. Yeah. I've got 113 watts at the minute that's, that, that's using. So what I'm going to do now, you know, I'm going to put the fridge on. So about 120... About six and a half hours of running the fridge and the lights yeah. then. That's not bad, is no. it? No. So that's at the minute using about 120 watts. Now, obviously, if you've not got a power bank and you're just plugging it in, it's not really going to tell you that it's actually working. But all we've got to do is just leave the fridge on for two or three hours. And the reason that we're doing that is we're just making sure, we're just getting everything back into the, the usable state. So um big big expensive thing if it goes wrong is the fridge so now is a great time obviously we might need a bit of time to get parts it might be that you can't get a service engineer out if you have a problem or something like that so it's the best time now to be going through your caravan and just checking different things so but you don't want your beer or your wine going warm, well no exactly so this is the most important part and then after this it'll be the heating system um but obviously yeah like you say you wine and your your beer and what have you you've got to keep that cool so we'll pop the fridge on we know on ours that it's drawing a an ampage or a, a, a wattage but that doesn't actually tell us that it's getting cold so there can still be an issue with the fridge and it's not then cooling down so going to take about four hours for that to cool down so you can then either go off um go and do some other bits and pieces. And I'm gonna get onto the other bits and pieces in a minute that you can be doing while this is sort of cooling down. But great time now to actually just check your fridge is cooling down and doing what it should be doing. The other thing to do now um, is check your towing electrics. So obviously the caravan has been, if you've not been using it, it's just been sat here um, and things just happen, things just, mysteriously go wrong so let's connect up to let's back up the car let's connect the car into the the back of the caravan and we'll just check all of our lights we'll check all of our indicators all of our running lights and what have you put our fog on see if the reversing is working 
and it just gives you a chance now to check everything through, just make sure all your running lights are going. And then we're not getting into sort of close to when you're actually going to use the caravan uh, and we find that we've got issues. Again, um, people are going to slate me for this, but it be the WD. They do a, a silicon WD, um, which is more friendly for your electrics and what have you. But just literally spraying in the back of the car, so where you plug this into in the back of the car, give that a bit of a spray, give your plug a bit of a spray. Because the 13 pins, they sort of, they, they have to move. So we do just want to lubricate this up because the plastics will have just gone dry over the winter and it's just not going to work as as nice and easily so just two really good things there i think that we should be thinking about getting ready now is our fridge just make sure it's fully cooling down um and our lights on the caravan and just checking the car and the actual caravan if you do have to get either your car electrics looked at or the caravan electrics looked at it's probably just going to take you a bit longer than normal so it's great to get these checks to, to do now now um uh, the plug you can probably do, but the fridge is going to be a bit of a pain, to be honest with you. So this is the Bailey Alicanto Grand Porto, and we've just literally got back with it, but it's yesterday, so it's still the same video, but so, yeah. Um, now, this is the caravan that on Friday, on our little video, we said, whatever you do, don't buy a caravan like this. Uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't... You, if you're private and you're going to buy a van privately from somebody, do not buy it at the side of the road. Um, one thing not, not to do, try and, even if, it, if it's a storage yard, really you want to be trying, buy, buying it from the person's home address where they actually live. You can tie up all the paperwork, you can tie up driving licences, etc. But us now, we just, yeah, at the side of the road, unfortunately. Now, the reason that we did that is we'd already seen identification, etc. Um, and when we do a Chris check, it obviously tells us all of the information, but there's something on the new Chris checks, and I'll try and put a, a little thing onto the screen in a minute, um, where you can actually check serial numbers of sort of the fridge, ovens, microwaves, and on your oven, which is the easiest one to do, there's actually a serial number here. And what you can do on the newer caravans is you can actually check against the Chris number and you can check against serial numbers of items within the caravan. So if it was for stolen, for instance, because on the newer caravans, they're literally just a sticker. And there's, it's, it's not that difficult to have new stickers done um, and replace all the stickers on all of the windows. It's, it's a lot easier than it used to be with the etched in um, stickers. So you can't just rely off serial numbers anymore. Um, so serial numbers in the ovens, on the fridges, etc. You can double cross reference so that you've got a good idea then that actually, yeah, uh, all the windows match up, so all the Chris identification numbers. Normally there'll be a chassis number stamped within the the rails on the on the chassis, so it'll be stamped into the metal. And then things like your oven, um, microwaves, they get replaced more often than than ovens. It's quite unlikely that it would have had a new oven this is 2021 so for it to have had a new oven already is pretty slim so that is just something that on some of the new vans that you can now do um so just just another tip really of if you're going to buy privately and there's nothing wrong buying it privately especially if it's something quite new you've got manufacturer's warranty just check those extra things so it's got the island bed at the back and what an absolute stunning van um the blinds and everything. Yeah, the, blinds, the, curtains, the curtains and everything, all the pelmets and the, the, it's a really, really nice van these. Um, the, the extra storage that you get in these and they're all sort of soft clothes drawers. I don't think this van has been used an awful lot at all. Um, it's still all... Have you noticed like the little factory. touches like this little glass um, upstand to just Separate separating that off yeah and again you've got the little stick on headrests as well nice uh, on these seating seat. so really really nice van um lovely really nice it's it's i don't think it's been used all the carpets are like brand new Look, uh, it's got all of its there. servicing so we've got the uh, the little bailey bear up there so yeah um 
nice, nice van. Wine bottle holders? Yeah, little wine bottle holders. So we will be doing a full proper review of this caravan. Um, but obviously I just wanted to sort of explain why we bought it, how we had. Uh, it was actually from another trader um, that we've sort of met and been, been having a little bit of dealings with. Um, but we've even been able to sort of check other things out along the, the line sort of thing. So that is why this particular one, um, instead of us going mile, like a four hour journey, we've actually met each other halfway, uh, met at sort of the side of the road, basically, essentially, if you saw our Friday video. Um, done all of our checks, because I still have to, even if it's from another trader, um, we're the ones spending our money at the end of the day, so we have to do our checks the way that we do it. And we so, had one not so long ago, and it was two years older than the trader had said. Yes, just yeah, an honest mistake, yeah, just an honest mistake. But things do happen, so we always have to do our own checks. So that was hence why then going through and just checking serial numbers, and even just when we walked in, um, we'd powered it all up, sort of a thing, and some things weren't working. It was just literally we hadn't got a couple of switches in. But you're then sort of going, oh my gosh, like no wonder they've got rid of it so quickly and but actually it's just an honest honest thing so really really nice fan uh, proper review is going to come up soon hopefully you've liked this week's video uh, a bit different a uh, few more tips there as i say so thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place